welcome back to my channel. My name is Tosh. I think I'm pretty posh and oh my gosh, I'm so excited that you are here today. If you're new, don't forget to click that button down below, subscribe so you don't miss out on any of the joy that I have to bring to you this year. And if you're a returning subscriber, I want you to know that I would die for you. I would take a bullet if you need me to. I hope you guys can hear me okay, and I know that I'm missing an arm rest on this side. I also don't know how I look right now, so I could very well look like crap. Yeah, today I am putting together my like work from home setup. I'm gonna go over every single thing that I bought to put this together or like make it look good. I have all my Amazon boxes here and my like stuff on top of my desk and I'm gonna go over literally everything. So if you're interested to see how I set up my like work from home gaming station, uh, stick around. So the lighting is just kind of weird because I have my windows right here. Oh, maybe if I turn these lights on. Basically, um, I got this chair and I bought this used because online these gaming chairs are like $200 new. I'm not trying to pay it. So I got this one and honestly, like it looked so much better in the picture. I do have the other armrest there and I am going to put that on. I didn't notice in the picture that the chair is like completely lopsided you guys can see it here i'm pretty sure but it's okay because it still sits really well it works it's fine for now and i got this off facebook marketplace yeah this monitor here for gaming i don't really game too too much right now just because i've been very overwhelmed with like work and stuff so I want to get back into gaming because I do really enjoy it. I was recently most playing, mostly playing Fortnite. <laughs> the colors are so pretty and I love to like shoot people. So, <laughs> but yeah, I bought the monitor as well on Facebook Marketplace because I was looking on Amazon and I was originally going to get it from there for $2.50 for a 30 inch screen. But on Facebook Marketplace, people are selling like really nice monitor screens or whatever. Uh, for like really good prices like I paid 200 for this so I think that's a really good deal especially like looking up these monitors brand new like $300 $400 like I'm saving a buck you know what I mean so definitely hit up Facebook marketplace for your stuff and then the next thing I got which I don't know if you guys can see actually you can see it but there is my old desktop right there or like tabletop from Ikea I'm probably going to still utilize that somehow and like maybe make this a little bit longer or something not a hundred percent sure yet so I got this off of Facebook marketplace as well I paid $40 for this and he was selling it for 60 I was like I'm not paying 60 um, I can literally go to Ikea and get it brand new for $20 more like <laughs> lower the price my dude you've already had this listed for a month I am super excited about that now we can dive into the other things that I bought like the more fun things yeah so I don't know if you guys can see this mouse but it is a jelly cone mouse and honestly like I don't game with a PC I game on my Xbox which I need to put over here I have a couple of Xboxes. I don't really game like with a PC or anything like that. However, I would be so down to switch to PC if I start gaming more. It's just those are so expensive. Like I'm really not trying to pay for that right now, you know? But I wanted to have like the whole like, I think it's called RGB type look. So I got this mouse off Facebook Marketplace and he actually gave it to me for free. And I hope that you're watching this because you are awesome. You were so cool, so nice. I don't remember your name though, I'm so sorry. <laughs> he also gave me this keyboard, which I will insert a clip of right here because it's daytime right now, you guys aren't gonna be able to see it. I paid 20 for the keyboard. He was originally selling it to, well, selling it for $35. Found out that I made YouTube videos because I was like, you know, I don't know, not trying to spend a lot of money on this stuff because of the fact that the stuff is so expensive if you think about it. So I really appreciate you hooking it up for me. Like I said, trying to stay within like a budget. I really wasn't trying to spend more than $400 on this because like on everything in total. Yeah, I got these from Walmart, from Wally World. And these are the most basic 
strip LED lights. They work fantastic. So these were $5 each at Walmart. And like I said, like I have these on my mirror, you guys, and I I never unplug my mirror, ever. Same for my TV, ever. Never, ever unplug it. And I've lived here for two years and they've never died. First Amazon box. There's batteries in here. What did I order with batteries? This is a really big box for this. I feel like this box is unnecessary in my opinion. You'll see it later. We're just gonna go through this quick. I bought a digital wall clock for my wall. Again with this box. I just, and you know what? Like I chose for it all to arrive on the same day. Like, so why didn't you guys just put it in one big box? But yeah, this is my mouse pad. It is an RGB mouse pad. I can't read and like talk sometimes. Like it just comes out weird. Made with less material. I beg to differ. I beg to differ. Both of the boxes that we just pulled out could have fit in here. I'm just saying. It just says black on it. I'm not 100% sure what this is. Oh, this is my cable management. And these are for my desk. They're like furniture risers or whatever so that the LED lights can shine through. And there's steel. Oh, shelves. I bought some shelving. Well, here are some LED lights. And I bought a new headset for gaming because I have had this crappy headset that literally the like cushions for the ears are like tearing. I'm gonna stop filming for a second because this person is back. So my neighbor had to go because he's going out with one of his friends. So he's gonna help me hang the rest of the stuff tomorrow. Okay, so I just decided that I can't do anything until I have um, my poster and my pegboard and uh, these like shelves hung up because I don't know where to place any of these LED lights and I don't wanna just place them randomly and then it doesn't look good. So I will check in with you guys tomorrow and we're just gonna finish everything then. So I'll see you soon. I do wanna open a couple of things still just because I cannot contain myself, <laughs> my excitement. I'm gonna do that with you guys. But look at my mouse pad. I'm so excited. I feel like all the people who are gamers are like, this is no game. I don't, okay? I'm just trying to have fun. But I do like to game. Okay, so it was just too bright in the area I was at, but it definitely works.
bunch of shit for Tosh. <laughs> <laughs> she doesn't. She doesn't. She doesn't fucking pay me. Actually, she gave me a white claw. Oh, nice. <laughs> <laughs> That's straight. Boom. Yay. That one's so good. You walked inside this apartment. Yeah, you like consented. Sight. You signed an NDA and uh an So my neighbor's here helping me put this together and he was like, let's just do your lights for your patio right now at the same time. So we're gonna hang them. It's really bright out here. Are you guys ready to see what this looks like? Honestly, I hope you like it. I still have a couple of things that I need to do, but I'm really vibing with it. Like, I think it's super cute. I wish that I had a full room because I would do neon lights everywhere which i'm probably still going to in my apartment and just like say f it but you guys doesn't this look so cute i still need to do some cable management and i'm waiting on a usb power strip that i ordered because i can't plug everything into the same power strip so i was like i'll just get one just for usbs and then the other ones will be for like my gaming stuff and my work stuff and then i need to also buy some stuff to put on the shelves i just have like a little transformers car right now um, when I went to Holland, I went to the Amsterdam or to the, uh, what is this called? Heineken, uh, museum. And I made my own bottles of Heineken. And then I just have some games here. And then I put my little succulent there. I just need to buy some hooks for my controllers so that I can hang my controllers up here. And I think that I'm just going to hang my headset, honestly, like right here, but I'm not hundred percent sure. Um, what I'm gonna do with that yet. So we'll figure it out. Okay, so there are still some cords over there. There's probably not gonna be anything I can really do about that. I've never done like cable management before. So if you have any ideas or tips and tricks, please let me know. Same thing here for these cables. I just like, I don't know what to do with them because like they have to go into that laptop. Um, so I can do my job every day and I don't want to like disconnect it and then reconnect it every day So I'm kind of stuck there and then this like this cord was just hanging down the middle and I was like Ooh, I don't know where to put it. So I just like I just like Used it or like laid it on top of the desk and like plugged it in over there on the side I will have everything linked down below for you mm -hmm.